Hi everyone, my name is Juan Camilo Alcaraz. Today I want to show you a basic workflow I use when I import I am importing uh, AutoCAD information. Okay, uh, the first thing you will see here, for example, I will going to import and I will going to select a floor plan made in AutoCAD. This floor plan has been cleaned uh, inside AutoCAD, so I will only remove a couple of things that maybe are miss, uh, missed in the cleaning process. So every la layer I found here that is uh, hidden, I will going to disable. Okay. Why is important to disable any hidden layer? Because when I import, for example, that you can see here, I am able to select all these uh, objects and I am able to group them. So I can put, for example, a floor plan. Okay, this is a basic workflow. I import the, f the, the floor plans and I grouped them all. But what's happened if I didn't uh, unselect these hidden layers? I will going to import again. And like you can see here, the hidden layers are even imported. So when I hit OK, everything's will going to work exactly the same. But when I select this floor plan and when I try to group, like you can see here, I am not able to group this object because there are a lot of objects that are hidden that doesn't allow me to group. So the only solution is to unhide all and this way I'm able to select again and try to group all like you can see here there are a lot of things that maybe are far away I don't know where, where they are so I have to select all the object pressing Control A and this way I'm this way I am able to group but this is not a, a good way because like you can see maybe they are, there are objects far away from the the, the drawing so this could uh, create a lot of errors okay so let's go back again reset this file and let's import it another thing you will uh, see when you importing uh, AutoCAD uh, floor plans or, or, or any drawing you will see a couple of things let me uncheck these hidden layers this could be done in AutoCAD but maybe in some cases when the client sent you information those layers are hidden and you didn't didn't saw it the other thing you will notice here and maybe it's different than in your version is the incoming file units I'm working in Colombia and here we use the methods as main units for design so but in case you are working in I don't know in US or on England or any other countries that use for example inches feet or millimeters uh, you, you have to select the, the correct uh, unit scale before importing the, the drawings okay so I will leave all these values as default there is nothing uh, that I really need in most situations so I will leave this as it is right now okay so what is the the thing I want to show you today now you can see here I have my floor plan and if I select this and I group this for working uh, easier for example again floor plan right now I can use this object as a reference I can use it for modeling and truly lines or draw uh, different lines and try to create the walls etc etc but a main thing that bothers me a lot when working with AutoCAD information is this when I move to layers like you can see here if you are using uh, uh, 3ds Max 2k 15 and above you will see you will have these uh, layers option here or in case you are using older version you will see the layers place it here so that you can see I only have one single object this object will going to be used only as reference but like you can see here I have in a lot of layers that will not going to allow me to work uh, easy because like you can see here any one of this layer have a different object like you can see these the the puertas have a lot of objects the muros have a lot of objects etc etc so something that I did 
uh, in some cases is I create a new layer for example called floor plan and I will going to move everything to this layer I will click OK and as you can see everything right now belongs or is a child of this floor plan layer but what's what you can see here is that all the colors has been lost I lost all the colors of the lines so this is uh, more complex to to visualize and to understand exactly what is a wall what is a, I don't know a, a line for example this open door or what is a window etc so what is my solution for this particular issue I have facing a lot of time okay so let's reset again and this time I will going to use a script I have created. I have created a basic script. It's I have uh, called it a clean DWG files. So this script you have only to launch this script. For example, I will here in scripting you can open a script. I will close. Let me close this. Let me close everything I have here. So if I go to scripting and I open a script and I find my script I have a lot of scripts here but this is the one I want to show you if I open my script and I uh, go and evaluate evaluate control E if I evaluate the script you don't see anything at all but when you do this you have created or you have installed this script where you can find this script you can go to customize user interface inside user interface you will see a new category like you can see here you have keyboard mouse toolbars inside toolbars you will find a new category called Alsarac tools inside Alsarac tools you will find this clean DWG I will I can put this particular script on any part of the software for example a toolbar a, a menu etc I will use a toolbar I have a toolbar I will going to create a new toolbar called Alsarac tools and like you can see here this is my toolbar it's an empty toolbar and I will going to drag this script to this particular toolbar like you can see this script could be played this toolbar could be placed on any part of the UI you can select whatever place you want and if I cl click it show me something that select an object to clean and group the layers okay so let's import again the information this is the last time I will going to import okay layer I will unselect every everything again okay meters and I will set okay so right now you have this floor plan imported like you can see you have all these layers here you can see it here when I drag and select this there are a lot of objects like you can see in the bottom part maybe you are not seeing well but there are around uh, 50 hundred 50 hundred objects here inside this floor plan so this will going to take a little bit uh, this script is not well uh, optimized but if I click over this uh, button you will see assign a new name assign a new name is a layer name maybe something that I have to fix in later uh, updates so my layer name will going to call floor plan and I will hit OK that's all what is doing my script right now like you can see here it is cleaning it is moving all these object in one uh, single layer preserving the color of the object uh, else than that this script is doing something uh, that in this situation maybe it's not handy but in some cases is very very useful and it is scaling down it's flattening the layer in case you have for example blocks AutoCAD blocks that comes with different heights or maybe an error in the into the drawing that create uh, a, a line that goes to the C axis this will going to flat this layer maybe in in another uh, video I can show these particular errors 
to see how this plugin could improve your workflow. Okay, so let's wait until it's done. And when it's done, I will continue with this particular video. I will go into pause. It's a couple of minutes we have to wait, but I will go into pause to avoid you to wait. Okay, so let's continue. Like you can see here, now my script has finished the cleaning and flattening and grouping process. So that you can see here, I have right now the floor plan exactly the same without losing any color of the layer. Like I said, this is flat. But the main important thing that you will notice here is right now inside the layers in 3ds Max, I only have one single layer for all the floor plan and all the other layers that came with the AutoCAD uh, file has been removed. This is very useful uh, in my workflow. I hope you guys like it and you can download this particular script into the uh, video description. You will find the link. Uh, so, okay. I hope you like it. See you the next time. Bye.